welcome to season 2 episode 4 of Random Builds and today we've built the Bat Cave. As you might have been able to tell from the title, none of the space is above ground. So we don't need to look at the main structure and we'll just head on around here, around this beautiful horseshoe bend and get down and look at our cave. I've been meaning to build this for basically since Atlas Rises had started and once terrain manipulation came on I just always thought a back cave of course we're going to build a back cave at some stage but every time I tried to do it the terrain manipulation messed up but it just got too frustrating but I think this one turned out pretty good then to the entry tunnel quick look around it's comprised infrastructure, lights, cuboid rooms and a lot of decoration and a hell of a lot of terrain manipulation it took about two hours to build and I'm pretty happy with it. I'll probably try a different one in the future. So we enter here from the stairs at the back. We'll take a quick tour around the place. We get some screens and some consoles about. These little tiled walkways. And our exomobile in the middle. Which was a nightmare to get placed because you can't actually place the exopads on the infrastructure. Take a look around. We've got the bat symbol there. The large entry tunnel for the Nomad. Smaller entry exit tunnel we'll get a look at. Just go in here to a little staging area. Lots of weapons and consoles and things. And we'll go into Batman's main computer room. Where Alfred does his stuff. And we find that the planter greenhouse room worked perfect for this with its tilted walls and circular structure. We just got some consoles and things, the seats. It was a really fun build to do. Uh, once you had the initial cave structure built, everything else was just winging it, relief from memory and taking different exploration from different back caves. Let's take a look around here. And the terrain manipulation itself, as I said, was very frustrating, but once you get the hang of it, it can open up to some great bases. We'll go in here to the laboratory. Let's come past some more consoles and storage. I imagine Batman has a lot of random things about the place. Just got that upper deck and we'll go into the lab. Basically just got some little consoles which are of course the specialist terminals but Batman doesn't keep any specialists about. We'll go on down here to of course the little bat bed. Where Batman dreams his little bat dreams. And we'll shoot outside again for a quick look about. And cuboid rooms really took up the most space in this build as they take up about 7.5% each of your build limit. This of course reaches 98. Now we'll look at the symbol. It's made out of lights of course. And we'll head on here to Batman's ready room. Which is of course where Batman would get his gear and what have you, his little toys and stuff and little gadgets to set himself out in whatever mission he's on. He's got some weaponry and thought what would a little ready room look like and this is what we came up with. Hopefully Hello Games will add some more building options in the future. We can get really intricate with our random builds. That'll do for the ready room. Pretty simple with the cave walls and everything it just it just looks really good underground I might make more underground bases I'll take a quick jump to the other back side under this little bridge we've got another exit which goes deeper underground if you keep heading through that cave you'll reach the planet's natural cave system and over here we've got another exit for the smaller exocraft the lights leading out to the base range limit. Some more little walkways. We were going to do some trim manipulation all down, but it really does affect the frame rate. And of course, the exit tunnel. And yeah, it was a lot of fun to build. Unfortunately, if you come to visit, you won't be able to see it because other players can't see other travelers' trim manipulation yet, but hopefully in the future. 
so this one is just for video unfortunately but that'll just about do it i hope you enjoyed it i hope you have a fantastic christmas as always thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again soon i've been ray reynolds and i hope you folks have a wonderful day Bye. <laughs>